Hi everyone, it's Donna with Embreddy.com. Welcome to tonight's live. How's everyone's week been? I hope you've all had an amazing, amazing week. Okay, yes. I'm up. Um, uh, my week's kind of been uneventful. Um, hi, Maria. Welcome. Lots of good stitching this week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Ivy. Hi, Loretta. Hi, Brittany. Yay, I'm glad. That's good. I don't remember what group it was on, but one of the groups was asking how many hours per day, like, stitch or stitch. Hey, Becky. Sorry, my face itches. And... I really wish I stitched as much as I used to stitch. Hey, Connie. Hey, Judy. Yeah, it was a pretty okay week. Um, yeah, it was okay. So that's good. That's good. That's good. Hey, Emmy. Okay. So, um... Hi, Cheryl. Okay, so everybody should have gotten there. Everybody that participated in the sign up for the summer stitching challenge should have received their email. And this, it would have taken them to the uh, merit page. Hey, Dorothy. I mark my hours on the day I stitch. I have a little calendar thing in my stitching journal. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Like, um, like if like, yeah, that's, that's a super good idea. If you use like pattern keeper or anything like that, obviously it logs it for you, which is nice too. Hey, Teresa. Um, okay. So let's share this screen. Okay. So that email will take you to this page, the merit page. And then you would click on either one of these. Whether you stitched um, the 25 days, you'd click on this merit. And if you stitched all 30 days, you'd click on this merit. So there's been a bunch of questions on how do I know if I got these merits or not? Well, number one, they'll change to completed. You can see that here. Then there are a couple other ways you can tell. Um, you can go here into your account options. Um, so you just click on the hello. When you log in, it, it takes you right to this page. You missed over five days. Oh. Um, so it takes you right to this page when you log in. And if you go to account profile and you scroll down, it will show you your last six merits. Um, and so, and obviously this would be different for, for everybody, um, you know, because it would just, you know, obviously it'd be different for everybody. Um, the other way you can, you can, uh, check, obviously you have to be logged in. The other way you can check is when you're logged in and you're on something like this challenge page and you make a comment, you'll see your merits here. Um, you know, however many um, events you've participated in. If you're in, let's say, a um, product, let's find a product to go and play with, um, which is really, really cool because when you're interacting with each other, you can kind of see what that other person has done, you know? So like, let's say somebody asks a question that you feel like you can answer, which is totally encouraged by the way, 
you guys do it on our group, which I love. Um, so you can totally do it here too. Um, but again, when you're on a product, um, you've got it here as well. So whether you're looking it at it in your account profile or in there, you can always find it. Um, so that's how you check. Now, again, it only does do the six. I think I might see if I can't have Darren figure out how he can show all of them in here. Because that kind of would be nice, right? To be able to see all of the merits you've earned. I think that might be nice. This is where you can upload your profile image as well. Um, but something like this would... Um, I mean, it's it's nice because when you're interacting with people, you can see what they have and what they've done and you can congratulate them on what they've participated in and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, yeah, it'd be kind of nice to be able to see everything that you've participated in, all of the challenges or, or merits or whatever. So I'll talk to Darren about that and see if I can't figure out how to do that. Cause that would be nice. I think, I think that'd be nice. Yeah. 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 Okay. So what else did I want to talk about tonight? Sorry. I've got the itches. It happens. It's a thing. It's a thing. Um, Oh, I wanted to talk about the holiday gift exchange. Okay. So I haven't made the page yet because I've still been writing it up, but, um, I did have questions on it. So I, I wanted to go over it. Um, we've gone back and forward on a bunch of different options and stuff. And I really like, um, the, the, the last option I talked to Darren about. So this is how the holiday exchange is going to work. If we still haven't gotten our 2021 love to stitch, you know, minor, can we get it? Um, I, the, the so prizes will be available. They, they won't expire for six months. So they went out in May, June, July, August, September, October, November. So they'll be available till November. They won't expire till November. But I would say get it sooner rather than later. Um, you know, redeem redeem your sale price um, sooner rather than later. But like I said, yeah, they they don't expire for six months or so. So you've got a while. You've got a little bit, a little bit of time. Um, okay, so here's how the holiday gift exchange will work. Um, there will be a page where you'll be, be able to go and sign up for. You will um, stitch whatever you want to stitch. There will be parameters like it needs to be between three and five, in, three and seven inches. It needs to be worth, you know, the, the, the value that you put into it between the pattern you choose, the fabric and the floss you use, uh, and the finishing, whatever finishing that is need to be between 25 and $35. Um, it, uh, and then what will happen is you will stitch it and everything. And then you'll go in and you'll, uh, there will be a second, a secondary place where you'll be able to go in and say, I've completed it. Um, and then, um, let me look at my calendar. Um, once you've marked that you've completed it, um, and the deadline for completing it, I think is going to be, I want you to be able to ship them the first and second week of, of December. So I'm going to say that the deadline for completing them and marking that you've, that you've completed it is going to be November 15th. And then the following week and a half. Um, no, this is what I'll do. So between November 1st and November 15th, will be the time frame that you have to go in and mark it's complete. Um, that deadline will be the 15th. Um, so if you don't go in and mark it that you've completed it by the 15th, then you won't be included in the giveaway. So after the 15th, 
Then I will go through and I will divvy up whoever have said they've completed it. And then that's when you will get um, the address of the person you're giving to. Um, and then you will um, send it out. Um, at that time, I want it sent, I want them all sent out by December 10th, at least by December 10th. Um, so we had talked about um, uh, having it a charge. It's not going to be a charge. There's not going to be any $5 charge or anything like that. So there won't be any charge. Um, and I think it'll just be a fun, fun giveaway. So um, I don't know. What do you all think about, about those details? I think that's a really great way to make sure that, well, number one, you are signed up to participate. So we know that you want to participate. And then number two, yeah, I want, I, I, I did participate and I want to complete it. Um, and I want to, you know, give it away. Um, then that way we know that everybody that has done that is like, yeah, I have it. Here it is. It's finished. I'm ready to mail it off. Who am I sending it to? Um, so I think that's, that's a really great way to not leave anybody else lagging. So I think that was a perfect solution. So good. Sounds fun. Perfect. 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 Um, and again, the, the, um, what you're going to stitch is, you know, what, what do you love, you know, find something that you love or, um, you will get, um, you will get the person that you are stitching for. So you will have to go in and mark that you have, um, stitched it, um, between the 1st and the 15th of November. And then by the following, I say I'll give it a week. So by the 22nd is when I will send out the emails to everybody saying you've got so-and-so and you've got so-and-so and you've got so-and-so. -and -so. so you will know before Thanksgiving weekend who you um, are stitching for. Um, I'm going to write this all down so I remember because, you know, I can't remember my thoughts. 15th email sent on the 22nd. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I think that'll be super, super fun. I'm excited. Um, but um, so then, so there's that. Witchy Stitchy will start October 1st and go through the 31st. Um, so we just stitch something and then notify. Yeah. So I, yeah. So you just pick whatever project you want to stitch any, like I said, easier between three inches and seven inches. Um, and again, price weight, price range, and it needs to be finished, whether you frame it, whether you bell pull it, where you put it in a hoop, whether you, you know, make a pillow out of it, whatever you do, whatever you do. Um, I'm going to try and, um, try I mean, I'm going to try and like combine all the Canada people together and all the U S people together and anybody overseas to get, you know, I'm going to try. It might not happen because I might only have, you know, three people in Canada or something like that, you know? So I'm going to try and do that. So, you know, so it's like that. So it's simple. Um, and then, yeah, once you're done, I'll let you know who you're stitching uh, for and um, where to ship it to. Um, I think during the witchy stitchy, I, I, I mean, if you guys have issues with posting what you're doing, then then that's fine. Don't do it. But I think it'll be fun to see what everybody's stitching for the giveaway and, and everything. Because you never know if it's, you know, for you or, you know, whoever. And you know me, I just love seeing what you're stitching. So it doesn't matter. Um, I do need your guys' suggestions on tricks for, um, for the witchy stitchy though. Hey Debbie, what did we do last year? Last year was some good tricks. Um, let's see. 
I know there was one where you had to, uh, oh, no, that's Witchy Stitchy 20, 2019. Nope, go back. I need Witchy Stitchy 2020. There it is. They were super fun. I thought they were fun. Okay, so you had to post about needlework, but what needlework means to you. Oh my gosh, I freaking love that. That was like, oh, so amazing. So amazing. You had to stitch with either black, orange, or purple. That was a good one. You had to post a pic of your work in progress along with your favorite Halloween movie. That was a really good one. You have to try something that scares you, like um, stitching with metallic floss or beads or stitching on linen or hardanger or whatever. And then I made a Halloween a mandatory stitch night. Ooh, the 31st is a Sunday. I could make, I could still make the Halloween a, a mandatory stitch night. I could, I could. So I'm still going to do, I'm going to do five tricks. Um, but I need suggestions. So you know, I pump you guys for information. So send them to me. <laughs> okay. What else was I going to talk about tonight? Somebody had asked me a question and now I don't recall what it is. Um, The mandatory stitch night is fun. I try and make it on a Saturday and Sunday because trying to do it during the week is just kind of a little crazy. So we're really lucky that last year and this year, it Halloween turned out to be on a Saturday and Sunday because <laughs> that's nice because then you can stitch whatever. Ooh, glow in the dark. Oh, that's fun. Glow in the dark is so much fun so much fun. Um, let's see, what were some other questions? Okay. I don't know. Oops. Um, let's see, what, what were some other questions? I clicked on the video. I do like glow in the dark. That'd be super, super fun. Okay. Get out of that. Okay. Okay. Do we have any other questions um, for me that we can talk about? We have a little bit until we need a show and tell. Um, what do I have sitting around here that I can talk about? I don't know. Ooh, I could talk about, oh, sorry. My eyes are freaking out on me. Let's see. Let me look at this. Oh, okay. So I need to remember, because I want to do a thing where if you... No, I haven't. I need to do it. I have part of it filmed. Um, oh, glow in the dark's fun. Um, I have part of it filmed, but I don't have it edited or anything. So I will work on that. Um, the, <laughs> the craft room is going. Um, do you ever like get started on a project and then realize how much stuff you have? Like, 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 I think my room is, um, a little bit like a, um, Mary Poppins bag. I really just didn't think there was this much stuff in my room. A lot of stuff in my room. So I'm still cleaning it out. And I'm going to try and do like the whole, if I haven't used this, let's get rid of a thing. I mean, not with patterns or fabric or anything. <laughs> I mean, 
don't be crazy. But, and when I say that, I'm kind of thinking more like other crafts, um, not necessarily needlework or anything. Um, that's true. If the project you're working on doesn't um, call for glow in the dark, that's true. That would be kind of a, I'd have to have a caveat for those, you know, use glow in the dark or, 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 you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, the, um, the, the heavy duty spacers are what you need if you're going to use either, um, if you're going to use these knobs, which are discontinued, so we don't carry them anymore, which bugs me, or, we do carry these ones and we do carry, oh, I must've taken them upstairs. We carry two other kinds now, which is really, really nice, but you will need the heavy duty spacers for that because they're significantly taller than the wooden knobs. And so you need that extra space between the um, sidebar and the leg or else you won't be able to flip it all the way over. So I did notice you need to make sure, let me get over there. When you are on the site, um, I don't need to hold these up anymore. There are, the standard um, spacer kit and the heavy duty. You need to make sure you get the heavy duty, not the standard. The standard are gonna be if you use these. If you use this one or this one or this one or this one, which this one's my favorite, um, then you're gonna need the heavy duty. Um, okay. You redid the, the flooring on your main floor. We redid, yes, we redid the flooring on our main floor, uh, in 2016. Pain in the butt. Yes. Yes. Oh, my craft room is a hot mess. I think, I mean, like, this is going to be, like, super, super, like, vulnerable. But I think I'm going to film it. Um, not live over anything. But I think I will film it just, just to get the after. <laughs> because, I mean, it's a hot mess. There's a reason I have that camera angled this way towards the window and not straight back because then you freak out. So <laughs> it's a hot, hot mess. Um, but I'm excited, you know, to start the process. It's amazing how much stuff there is. And it's just amazing how much other stuff there is. Like, like weird things. Like the amount of screwdrivers I have in my craft room is mind boggling to me. Or office supplies. Why do I have so many office supplies? Paper clips. I tell you, I've got tons of paper clips. Um, you snackers already. <laughs> Let's see, um, which brings me to a question. How is the best way to organize charts and patterns? Do people file by designer or theme? Um, okay, so I have several ways. Do I have any of them close at hand? Um, no. So for a lot of my patterns, I will put them in a uh, magazine rack. Uh, just, you know, a regular magazine rack. Um, I probably, I mean, I'll probably still do that. Um, the the second way I like is through ring binders with sheet protectors. I do that for all of my mirabilias or any um, printed, any like pattern I get off like heaven and earth. Well, heaven and earth, I do a separate way. Anything that I do like off Etsy, 
I will put in a sheet protector and it goes in its rearing binder. Um, and that is usually, I usually do do that by designer. Um, um, well, Etsy, <laughs> you know, so that's kind of a broad, but my mirabilia is usually are in a three ring binder. Um, if I have it kitted up and I have it in a bag where I have the fabric and all that kind of stuff, that will also go in a bag in a magazine rack. Um, and you know what I mean by the magazine holder, right? Um, do, do, do. Okay. Have you watched Hot Mess House? No, I haven't. It's on HGTVs on Thursdays. So record it. A professional organizer visits two homes and helps them get organized. No orders, but close. Oh my gosh. I was telling my daughter. So my cute little daughter, she lives in a 900 square foot home, one bedroom, one bedroom, 130, 900 square foot home with four people, two children, two adults, four people in this teeny tiny house. And she's going to start homeschooling. Um, so I was telling her, I was like, we need to find like a, a, a home organizer. And she's like, I don't know if I can home organize any more than I've already organized. Um, she like purges on the regular. I mean, well, yeah, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. You do yours by theme. Um, if they're not a specific designer, I think I have probably, um, let's see. Mirabilia, John Elliott, my heaven and earth. Oh, I do have my heaven and earth. My heaven and earth I do individually. So they get their own binder. They get their own binder. So I put the front pattern on it and then I put it in the three ring binder. So then I don't lose it because that's happened before. So heaven and earth are all on their own. If they're not like my top five, top 10, then they, then I do do go by theme, whether it be, you know, whatever it be, dragons, baby samplers, do, 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 do. I do do that by theme. Hot mess house. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to look at that. Hello, Becky. Welcome to our group. How do you join? You can, um, well, you can just join. You can like our page, which is embroidery.com, cross stitch and hand embroidery. And then you can join our group as well, which is embroidery.com, cross stitch and hand embroidery group on Facebook. Um, I obviously reference <laughs> everything on embroidery.com. So you can go sign up for an account there too. And <coughs> then you're in. Then you're in. When you do go sign up for the group on Facebook, make sure you answer the three questions. I do my big graph on a poster rack. What's a poster rack? Oh, I dropped my phone. Poster rack. What's a poster rack? Like, I don't know what a poster rack is. You're going to have to tell me. I guess I could Google it. I love the new metal knobs. I do too. They're like so chunky and heavy duty and just like these ones. These ones are the ones I'm talking about that I like. I like these ones, but I like these ones better. Um, I was really bummed when the other ones went out, but I mean, it's fine. You got yours from a toys, a toys and us. I'm going to have to Google what a poster rack is. You know what I am going to do? Oh, that's very smart. I would like, like, like you would see posters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just Googled it. So something like this, right? Is this what we're talking about? That's very smart. Yes. I do like that. What was I going to tell you that I was going to do that I forgot now? Oh, 
So like in my, one of my bathrooms, I have one of those things that you can put like towels on. Um, I have another one down here that was, I don't know, for some kind of home decor. I'm going to put scroll frames in it. Like my works in progress, scroll frames, hang it on the wall. And I think it's got like five or six spaces for it. So I think that'll be fun. When the cloud can put the graph in the top and the material at the bottom. That's cool. That's very cool. Okay. Shall we go see? Okay, so Becky, Becky's new. Where did she go? Up there, up there. Um, so what we do is for like a half hour, we talk about whatever we're going to talk about, whether we're doing a challenge. We're doing a dare right now. There's a dare that I've issued. It's not an official challenge. There's nothing to sign up for. There's nothing to win. But my dare is, is that I dare you to stitch every day from now until Witchy Stitchy. Witchy Stitchy is an official challenge. Um, and you can go to my blog on embroidery.com and you'll see all my challenges on there. And they're super, super fun. Um, but the dare is, is that you stitch every day. Now the challenges have rules, like you have to stitch a half hour, blah, 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 right? This dare doesn't. I mean, you pick up your stitching, you stitched. The, the, the goal is for you to stitch and post. So I do want you to post. Um, but it's a fun dare. And you can use hashtag DDD2021 or hashtag keep stitching. Because we just want to bridge the gap between challenges and challenges. And um, it's a really great way to make sure you stay in the habit of stitching every single day. Um, so you can still keep going, making progress and everything on your progress, on your projects. Because that's the name of the game, is making progress. And enjoying it and taking that me time and that break time. So, I mean, I guess it kind of was a crappy week. Um, I have these things sometimes where I just don't sleep. So, I didn't sleep uh, Sunday night. Um, so, that would have been, I don't know, 36 hours. I went without sleep, something like that. Um, and then, <sighs> so stupid. Um, so then Tuesday, I woke up at 530, couldn't go back to bed. Wednesday, woke up at, um, 430, couldn't go back to bed. Today, I woke up at 330, was able to go back to bed, and then woke up at 7. So, I was telling my, um, my son, I was like, you know, when I have these things of insomnia and I can't sleep or I wake up at an ungodly time, you know, it'd be nice if I could at least do something. If I was at least productive, if I could stitch or I could clean the house or I could do something. No, I just sit here and bounce like a, like a trampoline. I just, I can't do anything. Usually it's because I'm in pain or whatever and I, I can't do anything, but it'd be nice if I could at least be productive and stitch. We got up at the same time. I'm very, very sorry. I do not. I'm not a morning person. Not. Um, however, I do like sunrises. But I only like them when you haven't been to bed. But that caveat is that you've been partying. <laughs> I don't party. My husband tells me, like, hey, why don't you go get a fit? I'm like, I don't want to go get a fit. He's like, but it'd get you out of the house. I'm like, I don't want to go out of the house. I like the house. I'm a very, very homebody. I know it'd be nice if I could stitch, but I sit here and I shake and I bounce and I can't stitch. It's stupid. It's ridiculous. Okay. Let's see what all you geniuses that are getting up at crazy, crazy times. I'm going to refresh the page real quick. Um, have been stitching. This is the information on the Donuts Double Dare if you want to go and look at it. Um, because, like I said, it's super, super fun. And it's just a dare for me to yield for you to try. That's all. Try. No rules that say you have to. But you should because it's fun. Oh, that's super cute. 
So what's it going to be? Oh, that's super cute. Oh, I love that. Look at those fun colors too. I think I had one. I have one of these boxes, um, like these little jewelry boxes that you can put stuff in. You stitch while you pump. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's super, super cute. Oh, this is the fun adventure one. So that says adventure. So more trees are done. I don't know what that says. New to the new adventure, maybe something like that. Very cute. Oh, lots of trees done. Oh, yeah, that's some good amount of progress there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, look how pretty. Mm. I love, I love this Bewitch and Pixie. She's just so unique and so much fun. And just, oh, she's just so pretty. I love her. Oh, my goodness. Wait, is this a finish? I don't know if Dorothy's on, but I... I'm, I'm not going to ring the bell because I don't think it's a finish because I think she would say it was finished. But I need to know if it's a finish or not because that is super cute. That's just a fun, fun fall piece, you know. You just got that one. Oh, so cute. Oh, um, I can post the link. I think Debbie's here. I think I saw her comment. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful. I love the white. I have never seen the white conversion and that is just the white and the gray and the blues. Yeah, oh, it's just beautiful. That is coming along just so pretty. Oh, oh look at this, look at this. Um, big red ship of life by Ink Circle. How fun how fun is that one you found me yay good 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 i um the, i can only go live on pages i can't go live on groups i think oh no i can only go live in two places so i go live on our page and our youtube channel uh and then i can't share it at the time that i'm going live but i can share it afterwards which is what i do so I share it to our group after it's done. She, she is beautiful. This one looks like a super fun stitch. That looks like a fun stitch. Oh, took, um, oh, you finished it. Yay. Oh, look at you. I'm here. Nap time, baby. Welcome. Um, Mangus. Oh, that's cute. That's so cute. And then, oh, I love it. I love it. That is looking so good. So good. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Look at that. You started her like 15 days ago. Wow. And she's not small. She's pretty big. Oh, that's looking so good. Look how, look how, um, I find the progress of stitching like so unique and I find it fascinating because the same person could, or the same two people, same stitchers could start on the same project and they just, they spread out so differently. It's like a fingerprint. It's like a, it's like a ink splotch, you know, it's, it's, it, it's just, I find it fascinating. Um, I don't really think it says anything about, about, yeah, I just, I find it entertaining and oh my gosh, that looks so good. That looks so good. Oh, you had a frog, the top part of the flag. Oh, that'll be it. That'll be it. No more frogs. No more frogs. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Rise on the wings of your dreams and soar. 
Um, these feathers on this, this is a Joan Elliott, and they're long stitches, and they're stunning. They are so beautiful. They are just, oh, uh, they're just, oh, uh, I love them. They're just so beautiful. She is a speedy stitcher, isn't she? Oh my gosh, I love this. So where are you? You're right here in the water area. This is so cool. Oh, look at your cute little scroll rock covers. A little map. That's adorable. So cute. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. That's funny. I love that. Okay, so where are we? We are. Oh my gosh, I love this. So we're right here. We're right here where it's like this little. Oh, it's like a throne room with the light, with the candlelight and everything right here. <gasps> I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Ugh. I love it. Oh, how cute is this? <gasps> Plant dreams, weeds, and grow happy life. Welcome home. Oh, so cute. My daughter is um, on a little obsession with plants right now. Um, I think she counted that she's got like 15 just in her bathroom alone. Um, like every, t she has added um, two to her salon here in my home. And she plans on more. Oh, wait, no. Two that were already here. She just brought home another, or yeah, brought home another two. Um, yeah, she's obsessed with plants right now. How cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, how fun is that? Muscle Car City. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. So now you're on to this green car. Oh my gosh. That's hysterical. I love it. Oh, I love this home. I think this is the one by um, Stone and Creek. Oh, I love it. So pretty. I love their um, banners. They have like tons of them. They have like home and welcomes and they have like, they have a dozen for every season. Oh, I love them. I love them. Oh, this is that Tommy Little Mouse thing. Very nice. Where are you? Oh, you're over here on the red. Very nice. Look at all that confetti. Oh. Ooh, what is this? I haven't posted yet this month, but I've stitched every day. Yay! Except the July 4th and 5th, which is totally fine. 4,800 stitches. A steel still broke. Oh, good heavens. Uh, so it's hard to do anything. Yeah, it is. What is this? Is this like a lily? Oh, it is. It's like a flower. Yeah. I like it. Very nice. Ooh, look at all that. From the 1st to the 15th. Ooh, that's some good progress. Oh my gosh, I saw this the other day. How fun is that? I don't, I think my granddaughter just realized that people sew and she's six. I don't think she'd ask me to teach her how to stitch. Um, I mean, I guess if I offered, she probably would. That's probably true. Maybe I should do that. I don't think she could sit still long enough. She's a very bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How cute and fun is this? Working on your sepia. Yes. Oh, wait. There's red. <gasps> We might be onto some roses there. Yay. And then Snow White. Very cute. Oh, you're looking for where I am? I'm just scrolling down our page. I'm just scrolling down our page. And whatever pops up, pops up. And that's what we look at. Oh, I love this. That's beautiful. And that's a fun, fun finish. Look at all those fun Mirabilias behind him. <coughs> That's awesome. 
I wonder how many Mirabilia's I've finished in my stitching life. Hmm. How many of your favorite designer have you, how many pieces of your favorite designer have you finished? Like, like two questions. Number one, who's your favorite designer? Question two, how many of their designs have you finished? I don't know. I would bet mine would be, I don't even know. It'd be a lot. I'd have to count. I'd have to count. Oh, don't be beading is so much fun. I have a video on how to bead and I love it. I love it. Beading is so much fun when you have the right tools and gadgets and stuff because that helps a lot. My granddaughter's learning to stitch so we can have stitching time together. She's in Ohio and me in Tennessee. Oh, that's a great way. That's a great way to bond. Oh, I love that. That's a great way to do that. I love beading. I love it. I will add beads to patterns that don't have them just so I can bead because it's so much fun. I do have a video um, on how to bead and I, I go into a bit of detail on it. I think it's under tips and techniques. Yes. Oh, beading supplies and how to bead. And yeah, I go, this has more detail in it, but I go over all of it and oh, I love it. It just adds so much. It just truly does. I love it, love it, love it. It just, it makes me happy. I love beading. None of my Agus Peridot finished. Um, Oh, no, none. My August Paradol Fairy by Mary is still not done. <laughs> yeah, but you were making really good progress on her. So I'm sure if you went back to her, then you can make some major progress on her again. Yeah, it's a really good video. Um, but, I mean, if you have questions on beading, let me know. Because I... I love beading. Before I found Tacky Bob, which Tacky Bob is now out of, um, he's out of, he's discontinued, but they still have the tacky mats, these, um, which are great because they're sticky and you can just dump your beads on them. I love them. These are great because they're washable. So you can get all your cat hair off of them. These were not, so you'd have to buy new ones. Um, <laughs> but they're the best thing ever because then you can just pick up your beads and you don't have to like pick them up out of the containers that just make your beads fly everywhere. The tacky mats and your beading needle are your biggest friend. Well, and your um, thread magic. That's a little, that's, that's good too. I could go on and on and on about beading because I love it. It's so much fun to me. How freaking cute is this? Wait, what is it going to be? What is, so, I mean, obviously this is a leaf. Is it a wreath? Is it like a great big wreath? Is it like a table topper? I can't tell. I'm liking it though. Oh, how cute is this? Yeah, you can rinse the bead mat, which is essential if you have animals or hair of any kind, because you will get it ever. When, before I found that, I would take a uh, blue tape and I would wrap it around my scroll frame, sticky side out, and then I dump my beads onto it. But then I found um, Tacky Bob and then the Tacky Mats, and they're the best. The Tacky Mats are great because they're sticky on both sides, so you can just stick it right to your fabric and then dump your beads on it. So it's perfect. It's perfect. How freaking cute is her this? Harvest Sampler. I just, I love. I don't know. Like, I don't think I have a favorite season, but I do like fall stitching stuff. I just think it's pretty. I think, oh, it's the fox one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She did have a fox that she was doing. That's right. She has 10 of them to do. Oh, my good heavens. 
Oh my good heavens. Day 45. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Oh, how fun is this? Peppermint, uh, purple, stitch along. Oh, I love it. Cute little orange, little orange black work. Oh, look how cute. It just makes me happy. You got your love to stitch a needle minder. Yay. Yeah. Yay. 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 So I was looking at my needle minders and I realized that I have all of my inverted.com needle minders down here because I need them to be able to show, you know, when I'm on. So I don't have them upstairs on my fridge like I do all of my other needle minders. <laughs> when I was looking at my fridge the other day, I was like, they're all downstairs. See, look at, oh my gosh. You are such a fat. Oh, look at the puffin. Oh, he's turning out so cute. He is turning out so cute. I don't know. I need to know how you're going to finish him. I need, I, I need to know. Um, oh my gosh. Look how good that's looking. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you're right here. So you're not even, I mean, not that you're not close to done, but you're not close to done. And then a cute little Santa man and sheep on some cute little perforated paper. I love it. Love it. Love it. <gasps> oh, we think this is going to be an owl, right? Is that what I think? I think it's going to be an owl. Look at all that. Oh, look at all that. That's insane. And she's parking, which I give kudos to anybody that can park. Anybody that can park is on a next level. Ooh, this is looking so good. Oh my goodness. Um, almost done with the purple clover and then onto the beading and the embellishments. I love it. This is, you've gotten like so much done um, since last week on this. Uh, perfect. Oh, look at the fun little windmill. This is going to be so much fun. Oh, look at the fun clouds. I love it. Um, I'm sort of doing the DDD. You know what? It's okay. At least you're stitching. It's all good. I'm trying to stitch every day, but I'm not posting every day. So I know it doesn't count. It counts. I say it counts. I want to see what you're stitching. That's very cute. That's very cute. Oh, my son. I was telling my son about this because we were trying to think of a name. Um, Brimstone. <laughs> yes. Kudos to whoever named him last week. It's perfect. It was perfect, right? Oh, my gosh. I was telling my son it, and he's like, that's a really good name. Funny thing was, is my friend had uh, uh, done me a diamond painting of a lion and I was describing it to my son, you know, half red, half blue. And I'm like, just talking to him and I look over and I see the diamond painting. It's kind of similar to this where he's kind of, he's like magenta, half blue and half magenta. Um, but this is like, yeah, brimstone. It's a perfect name perfect name and that's looking amazing oh my goodness how freaking cute is this oh look at all your stitches Ooh, ooh, yummy 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 stitches oh i love it i love it love it love it oh look at your bookcase oh it's a temperature bookcase i don't think i realized that so wait, what do, uh, what do, is each, is each shelf, each shelf can't be a week. There's too many books. And like, wouldn't like the yellows and the green be lower temperatures? I don't know. It's cute. I love it. I mean, anything to do with books has got my approval. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Dimensions balloon glow. Um, getting near the top. Oh my gosh. <gasps> That's looking so good. 
Oh my gosh. I love the detail of the sky. That's amazing. Who is the designer? Oh, dimensions. Oh, they did a good job. I mean, they always do a good job, but yeah, that sky has got, I probably would have done it with fabric. I think I take the easy way out. I think I take the easy way out because I always, always 100% of the time will try and figure out how to stitch less by using hand dyed fabric. I think I might take the easy way out a little bit. Just a wee little bit. Oh, look at our butter bumblebee. Our cute little bumblebee. Some more flowers. I love the fabric. Cute little speckled dots. Oh my gosh, I saw some fabric that I don't remember what the stitching said. Something like, something like I watch enough crime shows, they'll never find your body or something. But I've seen the ones where it just is like blood spattered. This one had a freaking bloody handprint. And I was like, I find it humorous. I probably would never do it, but I find it hilarious. Just saying. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this one. The protected babies. A baby is a special gift. Oh, look at the monkey. I don't think I've ever seen the monkey on the protected babies from Stony Creek, right? Yeah, Stony Creek. I don't recall seeing the monkeys. Totally good for Halloween, right? I think it's hysterical. I'm not sure where the bloody fabric comes from. That sounded totally British. <laughs> but I find it amusing. But I have a weird sense of humor. So it's okay. Easter preparation by Twin Peaks Primitive. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, so cute. So cute. This is your watering can. And then, is it, wait, 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 wait. Forest Animal Baby by Verivaco. I'm finished, except I'm still waiting to hear back from the company for the color, the fox color. Meanwhile, I'm still trying to match the right DMC. I frogged the color and thought it was right, but, well, I'm gonna mark it as a finish. So you, look at all the back stitching, especially on this bear. Look how cute that makes that bear look. Little raccoon whiskers. That's very cute. Very cute. Yay. Welcome, little Liam, into the world. So cute. Oh, I love this. Okay. So we have the table, a um, armoire full of sewing stuff, right? Oh, look at the cute little puppy. Little hat boxes, pies. Oh, so it's kind of like, oh no, it's a kitchen. It's kitchen stuff, not sewing stuff. Oh, I love it. Oh, very nice. Bless my kitchen. So cute. So it's kitchen stuff, not sewing stuff. I was seeing what I wanted to see. Very cute. Oh, hey, look at, look at this. We got a video to watch. Yay. We had a teapot and a teacup and a very handsome horse and some daisies in a teacup and a fancy chef. Maybe fancy is not the right word. Very cute. I don't think these are all finished things. Oh, how cute is this? Only need to wash and sew the on the back fabric. The mouse by Rico Designs, Teddy Bear by DMC Letters. Oh, oh, very cute. We're going to ring the bell for that finish. Very cute. I love it. And then almost forgot to post, but you didn't. I think this is a, um, 
a letter box for Christmas. I think this is a Christmas one. I'm not sure. Oh, this must be a train of some kind, like a circus train, I think. I think. I don't know. Maybe it's an American train, 1776. I don't know. Either way, you're making great progress. I like it. I like it. Oh, look at the fun, fun witches. Look at the fun, fun witches. I love it. Very cute. Oh, let's look at Carrie's. Oh, you got the bottom all done. And now all you got to do is the top up here. Yay! Oh, that's looking so good. That's looking so good. As always, you guys rock. You guys are amazing. I love it. It makes me happy. So that's good. That's good, good, good. Okay. So I hope you all have an amazing, amazing night. I hope you keep stitching. Um, I'm hopefully going to be able to post the um, the, give it, the gift exchange. Um, so that should be up uh, by next week. Um, so um, then you can go and sign up and do all that stuff. So, um, I hope you all have an amazing, amazing night, an amazing weekend, and um, keep stitching, and I'll see you next time, everyone. Have an amazing night. Bye, everyone.